in the video you will learn how to draw section curve in etabs but first of all we need to know what is section cut a section cut is basically a line which divides the structure and gives you the component forces wherever required for example we need the shear value at a distance d from the face of support in few cases such as design of beams and all that so section cut basically gives the forces and their components in the desired resultant direction at a section so i have modeled and run a three story structure i will be displaying the shell forces here let's display on deformed shape the shell stresses and clicking on apply so now you see the shell stresses are visible now i will be drawing the section cut from the draw tab a section cut is now drawn by pressing the mouse button and now you can see the bending force diagram is being displayed of the shell structure the start point and end point is well defined by global x and y since we are in plan view so the global z is locked here in order to keep the line straight we may enter the 12 fit global y so that the line is straight if you press auto refresh results then there is no need to press the refresh results individually so if i unselect column and beams the forces will be changed that means that it is incorporating the component that is going to the beams if i turn off the floor the floor forces will reduce drastically as we have cut the section from the floor primarily now i will be showing how we refresh the results by manually pressing it so it can also be reduce the transparency if you have to take screenshot in case of any report global x y z and the angle of resultant is specified here you may enter the angle 0 since we are working in plane or the plan view now we will go in elevation view let's select a and draw the section cut here due to dead load case let's draw a section cut since we are in yz plane so we can vary the z now starting point and ending point of the line while we can vary the global z coordinates here let's make the line from the base of the structure at 5 feet and refresh you can also specify the direction of resultant force let's take it as 5 feet from the base the reason for selecting angle as 90 degrees is that it is perpendicular to the section now if i uncheck column then the forces will be zero since we have cut the section from the columns so if i neglect the forces in the column from the view then no forces will be visible as no beams or floors were cut in the section so basically section cut can also filter out the structural member forces you can also save the right side and left side cut for desired results and you can access them in the defined section cut now if i change the z coordinates you can also play with the z coordinates in order to get the desired section or the forces in desired section 
if I want resultant at 15 feet high from the base of the structure so I enter the resultant forces 15 feet let's take it as 2 feet and this as 2 feet so the line of the section will be drawn at 2 feet distance from the base subscribe to the channel for much more material to come and visit the channel for complete ETAPS tutorials.